Good evening. We are following some breaking news. The bomb squad is using robots to investigate some type of suspicious device in Beaver County. This is happening along 13th Street in Ambridge. Several homes in that area were evacuated. Amy Wattis is there live. Amy, what can you tell us about what's going on now? Well, great news. Police have just opened up this scene here. They took the police tape down and folks are going to be able to go back into their homes now. So that's great news. And the other good news, that explosive device is in the uh, Allegheny County bomb squad vehicle. The robots, two robots, removed that device from the street and put it into the vehicle. So that's all taken care of. We did t speak to the police chief a little bit ago, a short time ago. He tells us these are commercial grade fireworks. There were five of them taped together, about a foot long and an inch and a half in diameter. But even though they're fireworks, he said they could have been uh, absolutely catastrophic if they would have gone off. They were lit. They were smoking when they were in the air and when they hit the ground. So it could have been an absolute disaster if they would have gone off in this neighborhood here today. Police do have a person of interest in custody. Um, they say that this person threw the explosive device out the window when they were driving down the street and a witness saw this take place and that that's when they alerted uh, emergency officials and police. So take a listen to what police have to say. The chief, when we spoke to him a little bit ago. This is like domestic terrorism. I mean, he got a, he got a problem with this bar for, I don't know why, but there's, there's, there's definitely a history here, according to the people at the bar. And then now you're, th you're, you know, you're throwing a IED out your window of your car, like, you know, 30 yards from this bar. I mean, if this could have been like a very, Kid could have been riding by on a bicycle. You know, we have people walking dogs like this elderly woman. I mean, this could have been a catastrophe. People could have been murdered. Yeah, and uh, police tell us too they were over at this gentleman's home. He, he also lives, he does live in Ambridge, and they said they found a multiple fireworks in the basement of his home. So they're trying to figure out what the purpose of those fireworks are, what he was up to. So they're, they're, trying to question him. They said he's not cooperating at this point. So they're working to figure out what this person's motive was. And as you heard the police chief say that he's met in um, multiple disputes with a local bar that's down the street and said that, that this guy has thrown fireworks at this bar in the past. He has a long criminal history, according to police. So we're just waiting to find out more information. And police said they will hopefully be able to release this guy's name to us this evening. And they will be filing charges at some point. So we'll have much more information for you. And they just did move this vehicle here. The road is opening up now. So drivers will be able to come through. For now, we are live in Ambridge. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.